Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Today we have a topic with us is stock index. Now, what exactly is stock index? You see Dow Jones, Nasdaq, Bombay Stock Exchange. Uh, you have NSE. So, what exactly this all indexes are all about? Okay, in this session, we'll try and understand this in a very deeper format. In this, uh, in this, we'll try to explain things in a much more deeper format. So let's begin. See, the stock index, they are basically referred to as the uh, stock market index. It is known as stock market index. And this is the indicator. So first, okay, let me just write what is exactly the stock index. That's what we are discussing here. Now, it's a tool which is used by, you know, the financial managers and investors for describing the market conditions and, you know, uh, compare the so-called returns on the specific investments. Right. So this, the stock indexes are relatively easier. Okay. To interpret and indicate live performance, increasing the importance around the world. Second, you know, indexes are often used as the benchmark against the performance of mutual fund ETFs. Okay. So the stock index is further used, you know, as an investment decision. It is used for investment decisions, you know, before adjusting the portfolio. So for example, you know, the number of the mutual funds uh, compare uh, their returns to the return in the S&P 500 displaying to the investor, you know, how their funds are performing tandem to the stock index. Okay. Now next I'll give you some of the list. Now list of what? List of the top five stock indexes which are the top five stock indexes i'll start with the first one is the s p s p 500 the standard and poor 500 so s p 500 is the largest and the diverse stock index that is made up of 500 most widely traded stock especially in usa okay and basically it is the epicenter of the financial activities it is impacting across the world. So this index gives a good indication movement in the US as a, as a marketplace. The stock index is a market uh, weighted average. It is, uh, I'll write for you, weighted average or it can be capitalization weighted. It can be both ways. Each stock and is represented in the proportion of its market cap. So thus if the total market value of all the 500 companies in the S&P 500, if it increases to 6%, the value of the index is also increases to 6%. So firms with various sectors are included in the index, like, you know, the financial sector, healthcare, you have industrials, right? Then we have infotech, information technology, uh, consumer staples. Post that we have energy media and so on and so forth the next one that we have in our list is nasdaq now see in a stock market uh, index of the us which measures the performance around 3000 companies including the foreign companies so predominantly it is known for the it is called the tech heavy ma uh, tech heavy nasdaq it is known by that name it includes like Google, Apple and other firms in the growth stages. NASDAQ also measures the stock from the sectors such as like, you know, industrial. They have uh, from insurance, transportation. Yes, it also includes transportation, energy and so on and so forth. So the value of the NASDAQ is computed on the company's outstanding stock. That is, you know, the market capitalization's average of the multiple firms part of the index. And therefore, the performance of the NASDAQ is directly proportional to the performance of the technology sector. So there are, you know, you can see three different market, uh, namely the first one, you know, the capital market or what we call as the small cap and equity market, you know, for the firms which with this very small level of market cap and they require for the listing of the less stringent one. Then there is a global uh, market that is the mid cap. It is called as the mid cap and it includes around 1500 stocks representing the liquidity requirements so there are certain corporate governance standards which have to be met over there then you have the global stock market that is which is also known as your large cap and it is the market capitalization you know weighted index made up of uh, us based uh, and international stocks so it is required to meet more stringent requirement as compared to the mid cap and relatively exclusively in comparison to the others so the listing department will regularly review the performance associated rules governing this kind of uh, stocks okay so third one is called the dow jones 
it's called the dow i'll just write dow so the it's called the dow jones industrial average also known as the djia it is one of the oldest and the well-known indices in the world comprising of 30 major companies belonging to the industry leaders which significantly contribute to the industry in the stock market so the dow is price weight yeah? it is price weighted stock market index indic indicating that any type of stock split or adjustments is not considered in the average price computation now since it represents a large section of the u.s market okay a person change in should not be interpreted as equal change in the overall market so this is due to the price weighted function for example if the value of uh, let's say one stock falls you know from let's say 45 dollar to 50 dollars then the entire stock market index may fall around let's say 3000 uh, points since the quantum of one stock weights heavily on the base of 30 firms so as an index consists of some of the well-established company in the u.s large swings in the index can generally correspond to the entire market movement though not necessarily on the same scale okay the fourth one is ftse 100 index it's the financial Times stock index now see stock index consists of, over here of 100 companies listed on the lse that is the london stock exchange with the highest market cap which is maintained by the ftse group in many of this 100 firms are internationally focused and hence may not be the best indicators for the uk economy in, in functioning and are significantly impacted by the exchange rate uh, of the pound the ftse 250 stocks stock market index could be considered since it includes a smaller proportion of the international firms now the fifth one is the russell index stock indexes is you know is a family of a global equity indices from the ftse russell permitting you know investor which tracks the performance of the specific market segments so many mutual funds of the etfs the exchange traded fund managers use FTSE Russell as a benchmark for measuring their respective performances. So the most established index in the series is Russell 2000, which exclusively tracks the US small market stocks of the Russell 3000 stocks. And the participant of the Russell 3000 and the subsets are determined every year okay during the annual reconstitution with quarterly enhancements including you know any sort of ipo so the top 1000 companies are large ones and the other ones are the small cap ones so the stock indexes have a rule based they, uh, they have a rule based transparent process for forming the index by listing all the firms in the what we call as descending order by market capitalization adjusted for the flow so after discussing all this let me give my final thoughts on this particular topic. See, the stock market indexes have generally used as a, ben a benchmark around the world to give a quick indication of how the stocks are performing across the sector. So the movement also has a widespread impact on other macroeconomic factors like the political and the overall economy factors, okay, as well. And it's stock indexes, you know, it gives a quick indication of the direction in which the market is moving and also which industry company is driving the change so that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers